Okay, I've come to my last stitch and I'm going to pull that loop up and the instruction says to slip stitch you know most of the time it says to slip stitch into the first one but when you finish it off there's a better way than doing a slip stitch first as you cut it off leaving a loop that's a few inches long and take your yarn needle and then go through that V of your first single crochet and then around and down through the top of the V of your last single crochet and out the back and then go underneath your stitches from your first couple single crochet And it won't look like you have a little funny little knot on the edge at all. And hide your tails. I run them underneath a few stitches and then go in a different direction. So I'll go under like four or five stitches. And then I'll turn, bring it over that leg. And go back under those same stitches or you can go in a different direction in a different row and that securely hides your tail snip it off and hide your tail from the center just run it under your stitches a little bit in two directions make another one of these and then we will resume on how to join it and how to do the chain strap and the border so I will see you when you finish your second part of your piece now if you don't want to make if you want to make the back solid you can just do a rectangle the same size and do it that way if you want so I will see you when we're ready to join the two pieces together